guys, what's up? It's Ayushi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know lockdown is over, but there are a lot of people who are still staying indoors and have plenty of free time, like myself, and want their creative juices to flow. To be honest, in past two months, I've done so many DIY projects. I've painted an entire wall. I have made a seat out of a tire. But there's one thing that I really like but didn't try it is DIYing my own clothes. So day before yesterday, I reorganized my whole closet. Now I have a bunch of clothes that I don't wear anymore. So I thought of DIYing few of them and transforming them into new trendy pieces. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the video. So I have all my clothes that I'm gonna DIY today over here with me and yesterday I went to the dollar store and got some ribbons and laces, flowers that I think I can use. I don't really know how to stitch so everything in this video is going to be really simple. If I can do it, anyone else can. Starting off with this thing, it's a shock kind of cardigan, I call it secretary sweater. So this is how it looks. It used to be really loose so I stopped wearing it but I don't know how it suddenly fits me. I'm going to transform this one into the sweater which is quite trending on TikTok and Instagram right now with one uh, tie in the middle and I'm also going to crop the bottom part of it. So it will be like a crop sweater and I can use the rest of the part to make a tube top. Let's get started. <laughs> I crop this and I think it looks great you can simply attach a button over here and it would look really nice but if you want you can also use the rest of a piece and cut a small strip to uh, make the tie or you can use a ribbon like I'm gonna do but I think a button would look better if I just simply put a button over here and also like few buttons extra button So I was just looking at this ribbon and I don't think it matches the color of the shrug so I've dropped the idea of attaching it and I've cut it a small piece from the bottom part of the shrug and I'll attach it like this on both the sides. Here you go and then I can tie it in between. I think it matches exactly uh, the shrug because it is from the shrug so it will look better. To attach it either you can just stitch it uh, like this in, from the inside or you can put fabric glue and then paste it with the fabric glue but I think you should prefer just putting uh, two stitches on this because it is the only support you have in this sweater so that's a better option. I like it but uh, I think I will remove this and put a new button over here. I don't have any button right now so I'll buy it from the dollar store tomorrow. And But I think it looks fine with uh, these threads as well. Next up is something that I'm really excited about. It is this oversized denim jacket. I wanted to transform it from the longest time. I'm planning this from past one year. I want to crop this jacket and make it a quad set. I want to cut it in half and then I will have a cropped denim jacket and a skirt. But I never thought I will be able to do this without stitching or I will at least require some rubber. But now I've found a way where I can actually do what I wanted to do. I can transform this jacket into a quad set with a skirt and a crop denim jacket without using a single piece of thread. So let me show you. I'll have to change first to show it to you. Let's start. 
Now for this denim jacket, I want to show you how it originally looks. So it is quite cool. The only thing that I don't like about this jacket is that it's quite plain. Like uh, I wanted a bulky denim jacket, an oversized bulky jacket, but it looks oversized from the top. But uh, from this part till bottom, it looks quite plain and straight. So I really don't like that. What I've thought of doing is that I would cut the jacket into half and I'll keep this part like till here for the jacket and for the rest of the part if I invert it and if I remove these top two buttons and put them over here one button over here and the other one in the bottom and I already have the third button that I can button up yeah so the third button is buttoned up and instead of putting the button in a straight manner if I just put them slanting I don't require any stitching at all and it will already fit me exactly on my waist also I will have these pockets and I've seen this trend it's really cool like um, slanting buttons on denims jeans specifically so Let's see if I can do it. I'm not sure. I'm very bad at cutting anything straight, so I will require help. I will call my roommate for that. both the individual pieces the jacket and this skirt <laughs> it looks so cool it looks so cool already I am thinking of pulling off some threads from the bottom from the bottom of the jacket as well as the skirt but Harjodhi did a really great job I wouldn't have cut it it's so straight Now what we have to do is remove these two buttons and put it slanting like this. Wow. I'm so happy right now. I'm so excited to pull this, these buttons and just put it over here. It's gonna look great but we have to figure out a way to remove these buttons because I don't know how can we remove buttons that look like this removing and then re-putting these buttons is a task guys we have been doing this from past 15 to 20 minutes now still no success at least we were able to take out the buttons One eternity later. Oh my god guys, I freaking love this. I didn't expect it to turn this good. And taking out the buttons was this big struggle but... All's well that ends well. Now I have this scarf thingy which is too big and I absolutely hate this scarf because there's a story behind it. So, so I got this scarf from my very first online shopping order. I ordered everything from Missa Moore and it was the very first time I was trying online shopping. Every freaking blogger, every YouTuber, everyone in India would promote this shopping website Missa Moore. So I thought of checking it out and I ordered a few tops and dresses from it and they screwed my whole order. I was so excited for it and when I opened everything, I hated it. I really did. 
this was not an individual scarf it was actually attached to a top it was supposed to be really small like a bow um in the neck but they sent me this which could actually cover my whole body and the top is really small and then this is too big that it can hide the whole top so that was the story behind this but i think uh, i won't cut it there is a lot of things that i can do with this without um cutting it or stitching it so i'm going to show you a few options So that's it for today's video guys. If you like my first ever DIY video, don't forget to press the like button below and do tell me if you want more such videos because I do DIY projects all the time and I would love to film it for you guys as well. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye.